Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here and today we have an overview of this program that you see on screen here, Corel Video Studio Pro X6. Okay, so this is the main interface here and what I'm just going to be doing here is um, showing you around it, showing you all the main features. Now I will hopefully be doing a small tutorial series. Um, but for now, I will just give you a first look and overview. Um, so first, I will explain what Corel Video Studio Pro is. So it's a mid-range editing software. So but what I mean by that is it's infinitely better than Windows Movie Maker, but it's it doesn't have nearly as many features as After Effects and Sony Vegas. Now, um, at the moment, I do not own this software. Um, I'm actually using the um, free one month trial because I am needing a step up from Windows Movie Maker. So um, I've downloaded this trial and also Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12, I think it's called. Um, so I'm going to be testing them out and seeing which one I prefer using and then I will make my purchase. So I will let you know which one I pick but I will be doing some tutorials on each of these. Um, so Corel is a company that makes many different types of editing software so their main three are this video studio and they also make PaintShop Pro which is a Photoshop like software and also they have a nice 3D software which is really cool for making intros and things like that so I might, may um, want to look into those in the future. Um, okay so here you see um, you have your window here which is where you're going to be previewing your video. Now you see there's project which lets you view your whole project so all your tracks and then clip which only allows you to view the selected clip. You then have your normal uh, navigation buttons and then uh, here you have your parts you can drag along your timeline. Um, you then have these bits so you can bracket certain parts, your cut button and your enlarge button. So that's for changing the size of the screens to make it full screen. You can then select the time, it's obviously not going to work for me, but it basically the if you want to go to 4 seconds in the clip you can just type 4 in here. Um, up top you have your usual file edit tools and settings so you have your usual new save um, things like that edit you have your undo redo delete copy um, and here you can do track motion match motion motion customize motion I will um, probably do a tutorial on that because it is a cool feature of this new software next up we have tools which again has your track motion DV to DVD wizard um, create a disc for burning to say a blu-ray or something um, burn disc um, and painting creator which if I click on it allows you to draw stuff um, so yeah that could be a cool feature I suppose so I'll just close that settings you can set your preferences uh, things like that um, so Next, here we have three tabs. Now, these are probably your main three tabs. So, you have capture. So, when you click on this, you'll see this bit here changes. Now, there are uh, many different ways you can access this, but basically, it has capture visio, um, video, sorry, um, quick scan, import from digital media, stop motion, and screen capture. So, basically, it means if you've got, say, your SD card in, you can get it from your SD card into Corel or if you've got your camera plugged in or your webcam then you can record straight into this software and you can also do a screen capture which um, not that many editing softwares do I don't think but that's a pretty nice feature so edit just takes you back to your normal editing bit and then sharing that is basically um, saving it so um, create video file you can click on that and then you can choose between MP4 WMV things like that um, and just the way you want to save it kind of so I'll go back on to edit which is the main part so here on the side you have all their kind of samples and templates but I won't really go into that at the moment because it's pretty um, boring you can say but um, if you want to use them you just click on them and drag them onto one of these two video tracks so this um, is the media part you then have your effects 
which has some simple uh, effect here for like um, going between slides, things like that. Um, this is the transition one, so that is cutting from one clip to the next. And you don't just want a straight cut, you could have it say go out into a star or slide across or something like that. Um, and if you buy the platinum version, I believe it's called, it comes with tons more and I may look into getting that if I choose to get Corel Video Studio. Next up you have text, so what you can do is double click on this uh, preview and you can type something in or you can have it come up in one of these cool funky ways here which you might choose, I don't really know if I would use those. You then have um, kind of overlay tracks so um, you could use these as foregrounds or backgrounds, I believe you could probably change the opacity so um, for example it would look like there was a kind of yellow sheet over the top of me or if I was green screening I could cut out the green screen and put in say a black or a blue or a red background. FX, so this just, it's kind of a bit like on Instagram a bit, those filters, um, so this one allows, sketches it, um, this one crops in, this one changes brightness, this one has bubbles over, so that's just tons of weird things. Uh, this is the um, motion tracker, so you can draw it yourself on the custom one or you have these, so it's a kind of a bit like on PowerPoint how um, you could change the way that the slides transitioned and stuff. You can draw the path of the picture. So if you say you had this picture and you had it sliding across your screen like that, you could do that here. Um, or you could have a small picture circling around my head like that. Or something like that if you wanted. Um, so um, generally when you have a video down here you can click this options menu which brings up some quick settings and that is also if you have it in the overlay track so say picture on picture as this um, the picture of me in the top corner of this video that is using the picture in picture so these uh, two are recorded separately and put on top of each other and um, that is also how you can access your green screen by putting the green screen the overlay track going into options and then selecting it but I think I will probably do a totally separate tutorial on that. So here you can um, choose whether to have storyboard, so you can drag all your clips in and sort them out, and then here is the main editing. So you can see you have all your tracks, and you can add new ones, you can lock them, and then you can scroll up and down if you have more than fits on the plane, and then you can simply scroll along with your wheel, and it will go backwards and forwards, but since I don't have anything on there, I can't really show you that. You have your undo and redo, which are pretty easy to access. Then click on this and it brings up this window so you can do stop motion. So basically, it's a bit like a time lapse. So you can, if you had Lego figures, you can plug your camera into your computer, take a picture, slightly move them, take another picture, and this will match um, them together into a video. Screen capture, take a snapshot of your current frame, do a voiceover, which is a pretty handy feature that has a built in voiceover. Capture video, so that's through webcam, quick scan, uh, digital media, um, just uh, like import and stuff like that. Next, you have your audio. So basically, I don't know if it works if I just drag a random one down onto the track here. And then if I click audio. Okay, so this one doesn't have any audio, I don't think, but it would usually have a small line and you could edit the sound and stuff. And then it brings up here. You can see this is a handy feature for surround sound. You can um, adjust where the person would be sitting, whether they're in the center of the room, and you can adjust some levels here. Next is your auto music. So um, I've never actually used this feature. I'll see what happens when I click on it. It's being very slow. Um, I think that's to add music. Uh, okay, so the following updates are... Okay, I don't really want to do that. Update later. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so next you have your track motion. So basically what it means is, say you have my head here, right? And you have a word here. It means as I move my head, the word will move with it if you track the motion of my head. So you can have text or pictures move um, next to something. So say if I took up my phone here, um, I could have iPhone next to it and the word would track it all the way across. 
which again is another handy feature and then you have your subtitle editor and I believe it actually does subtitles for you but it won't be completely accurate but it's pretty handy and it will uh, allow you to slightly edit them if it makes mistakes. Okay, so I've covered all the main features here of Corel Video Studio Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. Um, also, subscribe to my channel, favourite and share this video if you want to see more. So, I will hopefully be doing more tutorials on both this and Movie Studio. Um, so, if you're into those kind of things, you're in luck. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, see you.